anywhere on Earth in under an hour. If there's one thing for sure, SpaceX's Elon Musk isn't short of ideas. Would you like to travel from Hong Kong to Singapore in 22 minutes or London to New York in 29 minutes? Towards the tail end of a speech at the 68th International Aeronautical Congress, Musk touched on a new innovative idea, using interplanetary rockets for long distance travel here on Earth. And why not? Stop and think. Humans have been stuck with just four methods of travel for pretty much a century. Vehicle, aircraft, boat, and rail. Okay, plus walking. Maybe it's time to think big, but how could rocket travel really work? Musk's proposal goes like this. Passengers take a ship, the water kind, from a dock in the city. Then they arrive at a floating launch pad where a rocket and ship, the space kind, awaits. This would be SpaceX's proposed very big rocket, aptly codenamed Big rocket or BFR for short. The rocket zaps the spaceship into low earth orbit. At its apex, the ship separates from the rocket and heads to another city at about 18,000 miles per hour. It lands on a similar ocean-based pad near the city. It would be fast. Nowhere in the world would take much longer to reach than an hour. Contrast this with today, where a commercial airline flight from New York to Australia is something in the region of 23 hours. The immediate problem is that neither the new rocket or spaceship actually exist. Also, the price. On SpaceX's own website, they estimate the cost for a flight from the current Falcon Heavy rocket at 90 million. Estimates suggest the hypothetical ship's capacity to travel to the moon and Mars would be somewhere between 80 and 200 people per trip. How could this ever be affordable to the average Earth traveler? Well, Musk suggests it could and may in time cost about the same as an economy airline ticket. How would timid travelers cope with space travel? Takeoff and landing are problem areas. Airlines tend to do this very well. Musk is extremely proud that the last 16 Falcon 9 rockets have landed successfully. SpaceX has actually become pretty adept at landing rockets on both land and at sea. To date, there have been more successes than failures. However, if we want to see this technology work, we have to have a near-perfect safety record. After all, flying on a plane is extremely safe, but not 100% safe. Tesla and Musk are keen on safety. Tesla vehicles strive to have five stars in every safety category. That doesn't mean five stars overall. That's five stars in every category. But the exploding rocket to successful rocket ratio is still too high for commercial passengers to jump eagerly on board. The question also remains just how much demand is there? Supersonic passenger travel came and went in the form of the Concorde. After a catastrophic accident, we no longer see commercial supersonic jets. However, there has been talk of building a new Concorde. To date, there have been over 100 fatalities because of the Concorde, one catastrophic failure, and the BFR is up in smoke. The Concorde also failed because fuel costs were too high, making the flights rather uneconomical. Fuel is always a limiting factor in aviation. From SpaceX's point of view, it makes perfect sense. Not only do you have dual uses for the hardware you build, but commercial travel on a large scale can help fund missions to the moon or Mars. SpaceX is planning to launch two cargo ships to Mars by 2022. Musk says he hopes to begin construction on the rocket in the next 6 to 12 months. If it succeeds, BFR could not only make travel to the moon and Mars possible, it could also revolutionize travel here on Earth. Just watch the skies. Hey everybody, John from Mammoth Animations here. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, you can support us by enrolling in this free course. In this course, you will learn how to make games without coding. This course is normally $30, but today it's free. Enroll today before it's too late. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers we get, the better animations we can produce. Also, consider supporting us on Patreon. The more patrons we get, the more animations we can produce. We here at Mammoth Animations love making these animations, and if you want to support us on Patreon, we can make a whole bunch more. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another animation next week.